you're living with me Can't go on one single minute And there's a new one waiting outside the door And that's the time to begin it We're passing them out later. Good. And I want that write-up to come out in the school newspaper. We should put some heat on the editor. Relax. You're running out of post. Yeah, but I'd like to see my name in print. Looks like it's election time. <laughs> yeah, you can always tell. Susan starts passing out candy bars with a picture on the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> that girl's got more hot air than a balloon. <laughs> I'd like to say a few words. A few? That'd be a first. <laughs> my friends, this year we have a critical choice to make in picking a class president. Susan and no one, I'm still undecided. I say it's time we boldly go forward with my plans for the upcoming year. If elected, I promise two-hour lunch period. I promise every other Friday off. And if anybody fails the test, they will be given a second chance. Longer lunches? Friday's off? What is she talking about? How are you going to accomplish the things you talked about? Just watch me. Hi, how are you? Lunch hours, grading process, school schedules, they're all set up by the school board. Hey, pal, don't bother me with the details. Glad to see ya. Hi. But when you run for president, you should be responsible for what you say. Yeah, right, sure. <laughs> Swell gal, huh? Yeah, Miss Sincerity. They are old fashioned, but I just don't think you should make promises you can't keep. But she said you I hear speaking? Look, I know I exaggerate. A little. But not with anything as important as a school office. You're really upset by her, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. Leaders should be truthful. Then do something about it. Like what? Talking big isn't a crime. Neither is a little competition. Why don't you run against her for class president? Who, me? I don't know if I can do it. Sure you can. A little competition might be just what Susan needs. They'll keep her on her toes. Richie, you could do anything if you just put your mind to it, right?
So, Rich, you gonna throw your uh, hat in the ring? I'm thinking about it. How do you get a hat to fit in a ring? It's an expression, Bevan. I'm weighing the pros and the cons of running for class president. Again, Susan Oates. But all the guys think she's so cute. <laughs> well, that settles it. Susan will sweep the cute book. Here's how it looks. Susan is one of the most popular kids in school. That's strike one. She's got a big organization. I've got nothing. Strike two. And the vote's next week, so time is short. That's strike three. It's not a pretty picture. <laughs> Seems like it's gonna take a lot of time and energy without much chance of success. Yeah. But anything worth winning is worth fighting for. I'm going for it. Yeah. All right. Good for you. Oh, yeah. Hey, sign my petition. Oh, sign my petition. Hey, Richie, how are you doing? My strategy is to start slow, then pick up momentum. I got the first part down pat. Hey, sign my petition. Sure. Oh, look, I'm the first one. How cool. Yeah, real cool. Don't worry. You'll turn this election around. I hope you're right. Come on. Have a little faith in yourself. I do. <laughs> Very professional looking. Those should really help you. I'm running on issues, not posters. Oh, very catchy. I like that. Anytime you like to debate. Debate? Frontrunners don't debate. We just carouse quietly into office. <laughs> Unlike my opponent, I won't promise you the world. But I do promise that every problem brought to me will receive complete and personal attention. We can only make progress if all of us are united. I'm the one candidate who can do that. Thank you all. Yeah, all right. Good speech, Richie. Yeah, too bad nobody else was here. Guys, I don't think this is going to work out. Well, you know what they say. If the people won't come to you, you got to go to the people.
ankle. Could you please help me to the nurse's office? No time is out. I'm busy. Call a cab. Let me give you a hand. Thanks. You burst off the foot. Thanks a lot. Is there anything I could do to repay you? That won't be necessary. Hey, you're the kid running for class president, aren't you? He sure is. But not with too much success, I'm afraid. Well, you've got my vote. I like what you're saying about the issues. Thanks, but I'm afraid your vote isn't going to be enough. We'll see. Shakespeare Club all endorsed Richie. And the orchestra, you're piling up all the little guys. Brilliant strategy. Yeah. yeah. Except I didn't plan it. Who did? Hey, guys, anyone know a girl named Jennifer? Brown hair, wears glasses? That sounds familiar. Jennifer Barnes, she's president of the math club and all the science club. Yeah, she's first violinist in the orchestra. It's the girl we helped to the nurse's office. Well, what do you know about that? in the cafeteria for a month. Hey, Richie, what are you going to promise us? I promise to do the best job I possibly can. You okay? Oh, yeah, sure. A little nervous, maybe? No, why? You tied your shoelaces together. <laughs> okay, so I'm nervous. Hey, win or lose, you did your best, right? Right. And the support I got from you guys really helped out. Oh. Hey, you can repay us when you win. Kenny, by being the best president we've had. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Right. 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 in. I have the final results for class. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go, 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 By, here we go. By vote of 191 to 179. Thank you, thank you. It was a tough campaign, but I knew I'd win. The new president is Richie. Yeah. Congratulations. But there's always next year. Yeah, there's always next year. Thank you. Thank I you for your support, everyone. I promise I'll be a class president you can be proud of. Yeah. Yeah. 